Well, welcome to uh, my first ever try at a webcast. So, what I'm going to do is what I promised, which was to show you how to do a table of contents very easily, which is no more than a couple of straight lines and a little bit of accurate measurement. So, I'm going to try to make it. Um, this is my first time, but uh, here we go. So, Sorry about this little bit. I'm going to start off by making sure that everybody remembers that they're not looking at the inches side, they're looking at the centimeter side. The small numbers are the centimeters and these are the ones that we're going to want to use. So let me get my paper all set here nice and straight. One clean sheet of paper and I've got to stop. Alrighty, so here we go. The first thing that you do is that you find an edge of the paper uh, lining up the zero mark or the one or the two or whatever and make one mark as a guideline one centimeter in. So somewhere about a little bit off the edge, one centimeter from the top edge of the paper. And then you go over to the other side you make yourself a second guideline again a little bit over one centimeter from the edge that allows you to line up your ruler along the guidelines and start one centimeter from the left and go all the way over and if that's a twenty and a one and a half so then I need to go over to twenty and a half. There we go. And then we have one straight line all the way across. Now we can come down about three quarters of the way down the page, make a mark at one centimeter from the right and one centimeter from the left. Line up our page. Doesn't matter because this one's one centimeter. This is one centimeter, so we just have to remember to stop one centimeter from the bottom of the paper. And that means that this is at 27, so we'll go to 26, run up through the guideline, stop at the corner, come over here, Line that up at, well, this time I'm going to line it up at 28. So we go to 27, run it up oops, to the corner of the paper. And then that is all ready. Just line up, put your pen on the corner, push the ruler gently to it, slide the other end up draw it down till it reaches that corner and now we've got a rectangular box inside and now it's just a matter of filling it in the only thing that you do for two centimeters is the top heading so if that is zero then I make a guideline there at two I come over here make a guideline for myself at two and then I can simply put my pen on one of those guidelines, push the ruler to the other side, that lines it up, and then I just go between the two lines. And that way, we can call this the table of contents. All right, and then we just keep now we're going to get to the uh, columns and rows that will make up the actual information that we put in. So we'll zoom in a little bit here and we're going to first make our four columns. These will be the four general areas and again everything that we need to know is only one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter except for that first one. So again we line up our ruler, make a guide marking at one centimeter on the bottom we make a guide marking at one centimeter that way we can put our pen on the guide push the ruler up to it 
Line up the guide on the other end. Hold the pen firm and go through the two guides from the top to the bottom of the table. That's our first. Over here on the right hand side of the pave, we set that, make a guideline at one centimeter and two centimeters, one and two centimeters, because we're going to have two columns on the right hand side. So I line it up again so that that's right on the two, make a mark at the one, make a mark at another one, and I always start here. And jump. pen on the guide, push the ruler to it, push the other end of the ruler to it, draw the line one straight. You don't have to go back and forth like this, you just go from the beginning to the end, like that. Now comes the tedious part, which is making all of the rows. Uh, the easy part though is that they're all one centimeter. So what I do is I set my ruler just on one side so that the, the numbers are right along the edge. And then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, and I go eight, nine, ten, all the way down one centimeter at a time to the bottom. I do it this way because that way my guide marks are right on the inside and when I draw the line I'll cover them right up. I go to the other side and I set the ruler just on the inside of the page. I line up the zero and then I just make a mark again, same as I did before, inside of the box and I just mark one centimeter at a time. That way I know that every single one of the marks is going to be one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. And I can do it quickly and efficiently all the way down to the bottom. Okay? There. Now, just turn the paper sideways. And I guess we can start right here at the bottom. Put the pen on the guideline, push the ruler to the other one, and slide. Bring the ruler down, pen on the guideline, push a ruler to it, push the other one up. You gotta remember to hold that ruler down, because if you don't hold the ruler down, it'll make it swerve and then it